Elliot, you look like a wolf, and you a creep. I got two episodes of this coming for y'all today. Strap yourselves in. It's almost the new year. When the new year is over, we're going to get back on our, our grind. I'm sorry I got your daughter stabbed. Chloe, you definitely the reason, because Rachel was doing just fine until she met Chad. People that meet Rachel, or Chloe, excuse me, I fucked up. Let it ride, though. They turn out to always end up in some nonsense. If you got a friend like Chloe, I don't care who she is. He is. Get their ass up out of here. They nothing but trouble. Hello? Gave her the security code. Excuse me, guys. All right, somebody phone. I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me. <laughs> it's the big one. She shook that with authority. That was... James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. I'll be mad. Hmm. Is there a key in there? Sweet. A secret key. Now to find the secret lock. All right, it looks like we about halfway there. Yo, <laughs> they got T-Mobile sidekicks, man. They really got the sidekicks. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? All right, we got two drawers. Let's start with this one. This game's a little bit slower than the, uh, the original Life is Strange. Welcome to Shadyville. Let's open up the other drawer. The original Life is Strange, so you had the power that made it, that, that added a different element where you were able to rewind because time and stuff. Ass kissed comes with the DA territory. So when the sequel comes out, we definitely gonna be on that. There's a file here. He sure keeps lots of files on people. Well, he's a DA, of course. All right, let's see what's in the shoe box. I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But 
How do I get him to tell me? Hmm. You'll pay, or where is Sarah? I don't know how much the choices matter for this right here. So what do we do, huh? I'm going to do, nah, you know what? We can go with option B. What do I say? We're not gonna say you first. That ain't, that. that's, nah. That don't even sound right. Let's just go with I did. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is unless I send him a picture. All right. So we need to find something. I looked at all of this. We looked at the file. Did I, I think I might have missed something in here, though. Okay. So everything we need is in that room. I forgot how you how you look at your hand. I'd have forgot, Lord Jesus. Wait, wait. There it is. All right. Send photo of the evidence. James has a file on Frank. I, I didn't even mean to look at this. that. All right. But I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Oh man, hey, Rachel's Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. So man, I wonder if he he was probably lying. Look at these letters. I mean, I skimmed through them, but like she's sending love letters to her daughter. Man. Wow, so it looked like she really changed her life. Let me see this. Oh, damn. This is a cease and desist letter that Rachel's mom has sent to her dad because he's refusing to let her get contact with the child. This is some Mari shit right here. Oh, damn. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Whoa, see, if I wouldn't have looked in that box, I don't know if we'd have got this part of the story. We probably would have, but let's keep, let's keep looking. What? All right, that was some good information right there. Let's look at the file again. Though. James sure keeps lots of files on people. Computer. We didn't use the computer, that's why. Come on. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Yo, look at... Man, Rachel's dad is out here. He got the goons. He sent the goons out to threaten Sarah so she won't try to contact Rachel. This is, this is unreal. It's unreal. All right. Okay. Service award. We didn't check. Is there anything over here in the drawers or anything? Okay, let's open this. I didn't, I didn't even think to come over here and look at the filing cabinet, but along the way, we just got some good information. This must be what Damon was talking about. Shit. 
Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Or maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. All right, we're not going to take no wild guess. We definitely ain't doing that. Let's make sure we look around the office again. Is there something up here, maybe? He brandished the fire poker, hitting the victim several times about the head before fleeing the scene. So he got some. He got the OJ gloves recovered. We, we, we looking like some gumshoes out here today. All right, so those gloves and the fire poker... I think, because that's from the police report right there. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. All right, let, so let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. We're going to figure this out. We're going to apply that game of noodle. Chloe, will you head out the way? All right, I think we wanted to glow. Chloe! Oh, look, at we seen the inside of your, your dental plan. Can you move? Let me back. Can we back out of this? I'm stuck, man. I just spit. All right, let's look again. That's better. It's a knife. Let's take a picture of the gloves. <sighs> if TV has taught me anything, okay, these babies will be swimming in DNA. All right, so let's make sure the location and date's correct. 41210 Eli Forbin. All right, hold on. One, one, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Hold on. Hold on. We'll try to make it all come together, baby. We'll try to make it all come together. 4 12 2010. The date in the upper right hand corner matches. Um, It doesn't have the name of the victim on here, but it has the place of occurrence, which matches the gloves. All right, guys. Take a picture of the gloves. Beast. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. Okay. All that, so... All right, we can't leave the room. We have to do this in the room. Waste basket, burn the glove right here. Chloe, you is out here touching evidence with your bare hands. You is goofy as hell, man. You gotta, she got to be a little neater than this. Another thing is like, you don't think a DA might have some surveillance? Oof. Better not touch that again. You don't think he got some surveillance equipment or something in the house? Aw, oh, man, come on, bro. James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. That's right, man. Sheesh. All right, well, there's some files here. Let's, let's look at the okay. files. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. Man, shut up. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. In the first 48, he did everything. Um, <laughs> Gerald Scott. Gerald Scott. Mm. 
Where is Mr. Scott? I'm not going to accuse. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. It's Gerald Scott. What are the names that are listed? It's definitely not Frank. Oh my God. Sheldon. Frank Thunder. This is that asshole who was selling Firewalk shirts. I don't, let me go back and look because I don't understand. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Three seventeen ten. I don't. I, there's no. I don't know who Gerald Scott is. We don't even have a picture. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Oliver Rutherford. So we got Oliver Rutherford. And then what was the other person? Gerald something. It's definitely not Frank. Oh, wait. She said the dude from the mill, right? This is that freak from the mill. All right. wonder what Damon would think of his fair... I agree to aid the courts on future cases. The freak from the mill. Let's that start looking at these a people. Little snitchy. This is that asshole who was selling firewalk shirts. He was at the mill, right? This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. It's not him. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? So it's between it's it's between this dude and then this dude in the upper right. They were both at the mill. She called him an asshole though. I think it's him. And if it ain't him, oh Lord! If it ain't him. Payment? Fuck. Man, he doing too much. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? Everything has taken place in this room, unless they let us leave. Uh -oh. I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Never mind, it's probably back here. Hey man, this dude is out here mafia style, making moves. He out here, what the hell is he doing? I knew there was something up with dude anyway, but I thought that he he might actually be telling the truth at the beginning of episode three when we were sitting in the living room and he told us about Rachel's mom. What? Fuck, that's Sarah. And... She's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Oh, man. <laughs> I think we want to make things a little bit interesting. Alright? I think we want to make this interesting. So, we going to go with, I'll be right there. It's going to make it a lot more interesting. Matter of fact, just saying let her go. Let's see what, let, matter of fact, let's see, let's see what they say first. Let's see what they say first. Okay. Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay. I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Yeah. Fuck. 
I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did you really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Man, if you don't get your goofy monkey ass out of this house, I got business to take care of and I can't deal with your bullshit. Dude is a creep. He's gonna walk he gonna walk in the house after me. This ain't your house neither. Detective Elliot. Smack your goddamn lips off your face, sir. I don't think telling him none of his business is going to get us very far because he's all right. I told him at the hospital and then he came here. I'm not going to say specifics. So I'm going to go with the top option. I, I, I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But... But you're the one putting yourself in danger. Again. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. <laughs> when will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You, you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out. What happens? You end up in a fight. Well, no, I started the fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop, stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school, magically. She barely gets in trouble. And you get suspended. R Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? <laughs> she let you make a fool out of yourself. S seriously, man. You you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough! Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. <laughs> Elliot. I, I promise. N no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened. This dude, you, yeah, you, he really know the whole scoop. I don't even know how he knows all of this stuff. Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once.
that a threat, bro? All right, I'm gonna hear what you got to say, but all that yelling, you gonna calm down. And he walking back and forth like he getting ready to put me in a WWE finishing move or something. Relax. Elliot, please. I know you're upset. But... Uh, I'm not upset! What the hell? I'm trying to help you. <laughs> you just broke the snow globe, man. What you doing? I'm not gonna call for help. I got this. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? You're not talking! We have one option. Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. We should call the cops and blame all this on him. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. <laughs> 